All right, lads, so a new Thousand Year Blood Roll banner is officially here. A new Meninja, Rangiku, and Yubachika. And I want to try and get my hands on all three of them. Not in that way. I want to actually get these characters because all of them offer something on my account. Rangiku looks to be a fun character that I'm very eager to try out in the range of Ranka Girl Quest to see how she does before I'm there. Meninja, I like all the Bambis. Yes, she's a Brave Battle character, but I actually like Brave Battles and I do want to try her out. And then Yumachika, he's a Girl Quest character. He's the character that I kind of want the least, given that it's Yumachika paired with. Rangiku Meninja, but I do care about Guild Quest and Yumachika is going to be really good in Guild Quest So I definitely do want to do a few summons as for the Philippa and the banner I mean any dupes of Yachty would be great I guess just for collector's purpose But I guess the best filler I can pick up here is Chad because I do also want to try him out Max Transcended in Brave Bows to see how he does fare against someone like Orihime Now with that said we have 7,000 ops, so we have enough to go to pity But I'm not gonna be doing that like the idea is to try and summon till I get one of them at most I want to do 12 steps so we can get one or two characters in 12 steps that would be great all three would also be great with that said though let's go ahead and do the free summons currently we're on multi number four and as of late i've actually been getting really lucky so um, unfortunately for this multi it's a four star that's fine we'll skip past it but thus far the three multis have been actually quite good for once now with that said I, it would be very good if i can actually sweep a banner in not 25 steps because you know there's a, there's the joke i get lucky sometimes i get super unlucky but as of late it takes like 25 multis for me to like sweep an entire banner with that said nice and easily done menina no way on the first multi no way okay maybe it's it's advice to stop here i'm not gonna lie we'll go to step five then another rank eq Man, I've been lucky though. I've been lucky as of late. Like we got Halibo, step number two. Rangiku, step number one. Oh, oh, okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Uh, well, at least do the discounts. We'll go to step five, right? And getting one character this early on is actually really good. Step number two, potential fake out. Doesn't look like it. Never mind. I'm wrong. Let's be done. Let's get Meninia right now. Ah, Chad. Unfeatured. Unfeatured. Okay, uh, let's just skip it because uh, Orihime fake out for those that aren't aware. Maybe you're new. Only means one five star or one or more five star. But more often than not, it does mean one five star. So uh, it would be smart to stop here. But let's, you know, I haven't pulled or went down to zero on any banner as of late. So I can afford to go to step five here. Unfortunately, the four star on our third multi, full price orbs. Full price multis here. Step number four. Here we go. As I was saying, I haven't gone down to zero as of late. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. So I can kind of afford to go to step five right now. And then maybe do some summons on the individual banners for Meninia and also, what's his name? Yuma Chikan. Here we go. Step number five, though. I'm feeling lucky. Guaranteed five star. Three and nine chance to be uh, a character that we want here. Can we get someone good? I believe we can. Let's see it. Okay, we got two out of the three. <laughs> no way. Let's go. This is good. Where's the three and one? Where's the three and one? I'm feeling it. It's coming up. Don't worry. They're just playing shy. Meninja, show up. And actually, now it's it's advice to stop, because, right? Because Meninja is the first individual banner. It's the first individual banner. So, we're going to stop there. Like, I'm not even going to do the next step, which I know are discounted. But two out of three, Meninja's individual banner is coming up first. Yeah, at this point, I'd rather wait and save for that. Even then... I do want Mania to be fair, so yeah, I would uh, I would like to keep going, but we're gonna we're gonna call it quits there. We got super lucky, man. These summon videos as of late have been super short because I just don't need to keep summoning. I do care about Brave Bows, like my Brave Bow team's actually really worked on. Would Mania replace any of my Max Transcended characters? Probably. Let's be honest, probably. <laughs> but you know what? Since we're here, let's do step six. And that's it. We're not going to do the next discount because that's 200 orbs. I'd rather spend those orbs on a point event or something. And again, Menina's individual two is coming up. We got a five star though. Can we sweep in six steps? I believe we can. Let's see it. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. We'll take it. Though. Nah, it's not that good. I mean, there's a potential two in one, right? We'll tap through because the, the, the potential chance is there. Uh, Ichigo's a good summon, for the most part, but I don't need him because I have him 5-5. Five -five. I've had him 5-5 five -five since release. We took the risk. We gambled. Unfortunately, it didn't pay off, but that's fine because, again, we did walk away with two of the three banner characters. If there's one banner for me to, like, not 
go down to zero, and it's definitely this one, because I am very interested to see what next month is going to be. Next month has a chance to be Thousand Year Blood War, especially if they're doing these three characters for now, and then since they did these characters, and you know, the current point of it's all about Giselle, I'm very, very cautious with my, my orbs here, because I want to save for the next big banner, and we have no idea what next end of month is actually going to be, right? Could it be Thousand Year Blood War? Is it going to be Giselle? I don't think so, but I'm kind of hoping. Next month is Golden Week 2. Usually, end of month April is a big banner. Last year, for example, it was the Parasol banner, so I'm going to have orbs for that, just in case it is a big banner, right? Let's say Kempasio, Gremi, Rukia, Esno, for example. I don't think it'll be those characters, but I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't know what they're gonna throw at us. Either way, lads, I think I've rambled on long enough. Let me know how your summons did go in the comments below if you did decide to summon on this banner. I don't recommend going that deep unless Rangiku, Yumichiku, or Meninya, rightfully so, are your favorite characters, right? If they are, do what you have to do. If not, maybe just do a few steps and save for the next potential thousand year brother banner, maybe next end of month. Either way, hope you lads enjoyed the video. We'll talk about the point event later today. I know there's a lot of stuff going on with that. Hope to see you lads there. Take care and peace.